Hey guys, Jeff here with episode 2 of From Scratch. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make uh, cheap, easy wargaming trees using comp foliage and toothpicks. And it can easily be translated into larger scales by just substituting a toothpick for a cooking skewer. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, here's the materials that you'll need um, some cocktail sticks or toothpicks. Got a couple here. Uh, something to like hold them. I've just got a piece of old foam here that I use for this sort of thing. Now oh, some brown paint. Clippers, hot glue gun, or you can just use um, normal PVA for what you use the hot glue gun for. Uh, water down PVA, uh, flock, static grass, comp foliage, and then something to base it on. I've just got my standard um, 5cm by 5cm piece of styrene sheeting. Now I've already gone ahead and painted that brown. And you also probably need some more brushes and water and stuff. So I skipped over the first step because it's pretty straightforward. You just paint your cocktail sticks, um, your toothpicks, if you call them, um, brown. And make sure the whole thing's brown. It doesn't matter if one end's not fully covered because you can just use that as your top end. But as long as the bottom end is fully brown, that's all that matters. You see that back in your holder. And then the first step really is to get some comp foliage. For this first bit, you're going to start at the bottom and build your way up. Um, you want some bigger pieces, so I've found some bigger pieces out of this little pile I had here that I'm going to use for the bottom. And all you do is put a little bit of hot glue on your comp foliage. And then find a place on the stick and Stick it on and just hold it there till the glue sort of sets a bit. Shouldn't take too long with hot glue. And you just get the piece you're going to use on the other side. Get the hot glue off your fingers. Uh, this piece will probably fit in there just nicely. And do the same thing. Just add a little piece of glue, a bit of glue on there. Stick it on. And that builds your first little layer. So then all you do now is you build up. So you're going to get smaller as you get closer to the top. So I just like to sort of spread my comp foliage out a little bit. And then I pick bits up and see how they're going to sit. And this one here looks like a pretty good fit, so I'll probably take it next. And then you just do what you've been doing. Just add a little bit of glue. And then stick your foliage on. And as you go up, you'll get to use the foliage below it to secure it as well as to the stick. So it all makes the um so because the glue will adhere to both the layer under it and the stick in the middle, you'll build a stronger bond the whole way up. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and um, get through the rest of these and finish them off. So that's them finished now, pretty much. Uh, there's only two more steps. Uh, but yeah, that's what they look like. And you can, the be best thing is, these are done with toothpicks, which are pretty small. So they're good for 6 mil or smaller trees in, say, like maybe 10, 15 mil. Um, or even just like decorative trees for 28 mil. But you can just um, make this go like a lot larger. So you can go up to 28 mil just by using like a. Uh, the kebab skewer on the longer, this is like one of these but a lot longer pretty much and you just do the same technique, you just glue out and if you need to add stuff onto the sides to make them a bit wider you just keep adding bits around um, but yeah they're ready for the next step which is just going to be to quickly base them up so it's a pretty quick and easy process first thing you do is you pop them out of your um, little thing and I like to just clip the end off so 
about there will do. And then do the same with the other one. Now you've clipped your ends off. Apologies if it's a bit dark. We now you've clipped your ends off. Um, you just get your hot glue again. And put a good blob on the bottom. And stick it to your base. And you might have to hold it there for a minute and balance it. And sometimes I like to go in and add a bit more. Over there. And you just do the same with the next one. So now they're glued on. They're just, like I said, just little blobs. Um, apologies, I went off screen a bit there. I was just having a bit of trouble with the hot glue gun. I've got some really old hot glue at the moment. I need to buy some new stuff. And so the it's really, really sticky and it just keeps leaking out even after you stopped using the trigger. Then, really, it's just a matter of facing this up with some flock and static grass. And then once you've done that, going in with a bit of watered down PVA. So I'm just going to do my standard sort of basing on this, which is... Just uh, a bit of grass green flock by Army Painter, and I use a light um, a really light static grass. I do have an Autumny one as well, but I like this lighter one. I think it's just I've mixed a little bit of the darker color in there for every variation, but yeah, I just really like how it looks. I think it's really nice. Um, so this is a pretty standard, straightforward process. Just get your glue and. Add it on. And there you have it. It's the focuses. Yeah, just a little bit of variation. That's why I like that lighter static grass. It just adds a little bit of colour variation. But once you've done that, you just leave it to dry. We've watered down PVA. Um, I tend to like to leave it overnight just because it's, I think it's just the best way to do it with PVA in general. And um, yeah, that's your little thing done. What I really like about this um, little terrain project is it's super quick, it's super easy, it's relatively cheap, and comfort can be a bit expensive, but really you only need one like people tend to buy lots of different colors of comp foliage. You only need one because like once this dries, the um, or down PVA, you can actually just go in with some different greens and dry brush comp foliage, and you can get some different color variations out of that. Um, yeah, they're really versatile as well. Like they can be used across a lot of different games. This size, partic in particular, you can use it for um, six mil, ten mil, uh, probably. Work a bit, work at 15 mil for smaller trees, and uh, 28 mil. Um, you could use them as little decorative trees or saplings, and you can make some bigger ones just by upgrading the toothpick to a cooking skewer, which is a lot, pretty much just a bigger version of it. Uh, if you chop them in half, you get some pretty decent sized trees for 28 mil, and just use the same technique: bit of comp foliage, hot glue, build your way up, thicker at the bottom, thinner at the top, and then. Wash it over with some more down PVA. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Um, and as always, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.